Hi everyone, it's Sammy and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am going to be doing a full face challenge and the exciting thing about this challenge is that I have not seen it done anywhere else before. For today's full face challenge, I'm going to be using only brushes and sponges that actually came with the makeup products that I'm using. So this is going to be a challenge and a half. Every single time I see a tutorial or um, testing new makeup, I always see people find the eyeshadow little applicators and just throw them out and be like, oh no, I'm going to use my normal brushes. But it made me wonder, like, what about people that don't have makeup brushes or beauty blenders that buy these products and just have to work with what they're given? So I was like, let me see if I can do a full face using none of my makeup brushes, none of my beauty blenders, and just see if I can make these products work without the extra tools that I usually use. Before we jump in and get started with this video, if you're new here, I just wanted to say hello and welcome to my channel. I would love it so, so much if you could hit that subscribe button and subscribe to my channel. And also I would really appreciate it if you could smash that thumbs up button, it would really, really help me out. So to get started, I'm gonna go in with my primer, which I use the Forever Living Aloe Moisturizing Lotion. So while we are waiting for our primer to set in, I'm gonna start with my brows. I'm going to use the Perfect Brow Styling Duo from MAC in the shade Soft Brown and it looks a little something like this with the powder and the wax and it comes with a little double-ended brush like that. The bristles seem very stiff and very hard so this is going to be interesting. So I'm just going to take some of the... Oh I do not like this brush. <laughs> I am hoping that this is going to be a really good video and actually show that it can be done, but I'm not feeling that optimistic, honestly. Um, yeah. I mean, it's picking up a lot of product, but I feel like it's not applying it that great. I am not liking how this brow is looking. Brows are usually my easiest thing to do, so this is worrying me that I'm struggling from here. Ah, uh, it's so small to hold. <coughs> they are not looking their best, and I use this product all the time. So I know it's not the product, I know it's the brush that screwed up my brows today. <laughs> For foundation, I'm going to be using the Avon True Colour Flawless Cream to Powder Foundation in the shade Ivory. And it looks a little something like this. I have used this a lot, but again, not with the sponge that comes with it. So let's see how this goes now. Now, normally I use a beauty blender for my foundation. So I didn't think using a sponge would be that bad. And it's not horrendous. I probably thought it would be a lot worse. It just doesn't look as flawless as usual. When I first started following tutorials on YouTube and things like that, I didn't have anywhere near the amount of brushes that I have now. And it was difficult. It was difficult to follow tutorials and things like that where I didn't have the tools and stuff that all these beauty gurus and stuff were using and it was difficult to follow so I'm definitely glad that I'm doing this challenge it will put things back into perspective for me I think. <laughs> now for a fun part which is concealer I have the Avon Magic's Multi Benefit Illuminator the reason I chose this one is because it has a brush on the end so that I can actually try and blend it out because I thought with like a normal doe applicator I would have struggled so I'm just going to take this mirror and I'm just going to apply it to my under eye and try and blend it out at the same time This is doing absolutely nothing, it's just adding more and more product to my face. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go in with the opposite side of my foundation sponge and just 
blend it out slightly with my sponge. That's gone a little bit better. To set my under eye, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. HD under eye setting powder and it came with this little brush here to pack on the powder so I'm just going to use this to do my under eye. It's so tiny. Okay, I think that's my under eye set on that side. So that is my under eye powder done. That took a lot longer than normal. <laughs> this brush is so slow. <laughs> And just for the rest of my face, I'm just going to go in with the Luxe Silken Pressed Powder in Fair Silk. And it came with this little square brush, so, or sponge, not a brush. <laughs> and I'm just going to dab that. I actually quite like this. Oh, I like this sponge. I actually really like that. I like how that's applied. When I drag my powder on with my brush normally, it normally picks up quite a lot of my dry skin, but I'm not noticing that as much when I'm pressing it in. That's actually applied really, really nicely. So I really like this sponge actually for powder. That was a good one. Now, because my bronzer does not come with any sponge or any brush or anything like that. I've taken the little brush out of the, um, out of my blusher set. So I'm just gonna quickly use that for my bronzer and then I'll use it for my blusher afterwards. Blend, please blend. Okay, it's getting there. Oh, this is a lot of work. It's not doing too badly though. It is blending it, it's just taking a bit of work. I think that's as bronzed as we're gonna get today. So that is that done. <laughs> now I'm just gonna go in with my blusher. This is the Avon True Color Luminous Blush in Soft Plum. Um, it's the only blusher I had that came with a brush. So we're going with it. That's all right. Does that look all right? Yeah, it looks fine. <sighs> right, face done. Let's move on to our eyes. I am going to be using the My Help Makeup Chocolate Orange Palette, which comes with this little applicator. Now, these, I must admit, I never ever use these so. This is going to be a challenge. It's doing much better than I thought it would, in all honesty. Let me zoom you guys in so you can see. Ow, it's like an eye. Ow, 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 ow. That burns. It's doing okay. It's not doing... As badly as I thought. No, it's alright. It's going horribly. Oh, it's going horribly. I'm trying to use a blank one. <laughs> oh my goodness, this is horrible. I cannot use these to save my life. Like I said, they're really good for packing on colour. Um, but for blending and everything else, like... I just can't use it. <laughs> now to try and save this eye look we're going to go in with some eyeliner and I'm going to use the Maybelline Eye Studio Gel Eyeliner and it comes with this cute little brush. It's 
not the best. <laughs> but I used to use this all the time, so I think it's just practice with what you're good at. Because I used to be able to do winged eyeliner like so fast with this exact same brush. So I know it's just that amount of practice with it, but I just thought it was a lot thicker than what I'm used to, so I couldn't get that really precise line. So, but still a good brush compared to some of the others that we have tried. Just gonna pop on my mascara now. I'm just gonna use the L'Oreal Paradise Ecstatic Mascara, and of course this just comes with a mascara wand, so I can just use that normally. Right, and then we are gonna go in with the Sleek Solstice Highlighting Palette. Of course, this comes with a little brush that I have never opened, so I just take it out of the little packet. <laughs> And yeah, it comes with this nifty little brush here, it's quite thin. And I'm just going to take this highlighter here and let's put it on our face. Ah, the brush is shedding. I've got a little hair on my face. It is supplying it okay, but the brush is really hurting my face. It's really scratchy. I'm going to pop on my Beauty Big Bang Matte Liquid Lipstick in the shade 03 Naked. Love this. It's my new favourite matte liquid lipstick. Right, my final thoughts on this challenge. That was difficult. I now know how much I rely on my brushes and my beauty blenders. At one point I did used to use these kind of sponges and applicators to do my makeup, but I think I've become so heavily dependent on actual proper brushes and buying brushes and beauty blenders and things like that. I don't think I could ever revert back. I really don't. It's actually opened my eyes to a lot and I didn't realise how difficult it would be to find a full face of products in my collection that actually had its own applicators. A lot of them don't. A lot of them really don't have any form of um, applicators like my bronzers and stuff like that. Like they just don't come with their own sort of means. So yeah, it definitely made me realise a lot and it's definitely opened my eyes a lot. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope that you liked it. I really hope that it was different and yeah, I had a lot of fun filming it and it was a lot of fun coming up with the idea as well. It would mean so much to me if you guys could share this video, give it a thumbs up, spread the word. Um, I would love to see other people interpret this and to see other people try and do this as well because it was a lot harder than I thought it would be. And yeah, apart from that, there's nothing else to say guys. Thank you so much for watching and until next time, take care. Bye.